What's cracking, peeps? Happy Wednesday evening. T Money up in the heezy. Here to bring you guys a quick little collection unboxing. Does that make sense? Collection unboxing and unboxing. I got a package in the mail today from Diabolic DVD. This is going to be pretty late by the time this is uploaded. Uh, just saying, I'm getting to it pretty late. But the reason why I'm doing it is because there's a few movies in this package. So um, I was hoping initially that it would have come yesterday for the update that I did, uh, but it didn't. So. Here we have it today, so let's get into it. It's a box from Diabolic DVD, and it is a few random films. All right, so it looks like five total, five titles total. Um, reminding myself what I got here. Okay, yeah, so we've got some, um, oh, let's start this off with uh, one from Kino Lorber. It's a film from 1971, and I believe it's a western-ish action movie by the name of Zachariah. Um, brand new... Uh, master from a 4K scan of the original camera negative. The first electric western. Firepower meets flower power in this outrageous western about two thrill-seeking cowboys who rock the range. Uh, it stars John Rubenstein and Don Johnson, Dick Van Patten and featuring legendary musicians Country Joe, and The Fish and White Lightning. Um, yeah, this psychedelic trip, psychedelic trip through the Wild West is an utterly unique film experience. Two cowboys set out for adventure and join up with a band of rock and roll outlaws. But as two friends are seduced by their own quick dry ambitions, a deadly rivalry grows between them and they must struggle to find a path to peace before they lose more than their reputations and kill more than their friendship. Hollywood veteran George England directed this one of a kind cult classic. So I don't know why, but that title just reminded me of an Elton John album, I think. Kind of, a little bit, but yeah, so Psychedelic Western, awesome. Zachariah, if anybody's seen this one, let me know your thoughts. The first Electric Western. All right, next up we have a new one from uh, Unearth Films. I'm excited for this one, Purgatory Road. Uh, whew, yeah. Uh, on the highways of America's deep south, a priest and his brother bring bloody salvation to unrepentant sinners. A pitch black evocation evocation of 70s era exploitation cinema a frequent visual recall of prime mario bava and even top tier fulci purgatory road is a fantastic is fantastic in every way completely compelling it's grand southern fried gothic beautifully shot expertly paced and clear and lucid in its storytelling um I love this cover, too. MBD Visual in conjunction with Un Unearth Films, Purgatory Road. Sorry about that glare. But um, there you have it. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of extras on here. Commentary with director Mark Savage. The grisly art of Marcus Cook, who is an amazing um, special effects... Uh, indie special effects creator, I guess. He's done some pretty... Gortastic films. Uh, that's cool that he's um, involved in this as well. So Purgatory Road, awesome. Uh, we have a new one from. Actually, let's do this one first because this is from an unearthed films as well. We have Dis Three, a film by Adrian Corona. I don't know Dis. Um, an ex-soldier with a criminal past takes refuge in the woods. A demonic figure seeks the seed of killers and the blood of the damned to feed his mandrake garden. Dis is an infernal descent into the root of the Mandrake legend and a man who wanders too close to that legend and the unnameable terror behind it. Highly recommended, says Matt Boisel from Dread Central. Exodus, er, I'm sorry, exudes a visual potency that makes it really uncomfortably irresistible to watch. Um, extras include interview by director Adrian Corona, behind the scenes interview with Bill Oberst, portrait short film, you get a short film as well. <clears throat> I had heard a few people talk about this film, and it kind of prompted my interest. It sounds strange, strangely good, I guess. Um, I don't know. I haven't 
obviously watched it yet, but uh, there's another one from Unearth Films, and I'm not sure what the title is, actually. Is it Dis 3 or 3 Dis? I don't, I don't know. Uh, it looks like Dis. I don't know what the 3 represents, but something. So cool. I had been uh, meaning to grab that one for a while. I think, uh, what's his name? Mike from um, Grindhouse Video Tampa originally posted that for sale and it was sold out by the time I went to get it. So I grabbed it from um, Jesse over at Diabolic. And next up we have Plague, Plague Dogs. Uh, this is a number 41, The Plague Dogs, in Shout Select line. Um, based on a novel, a stunning animated adaptation of Richard Adams' novel, The Plague Dogs, follows a pair of dogs, Snitter and Ralph, who escape from a research laboratory and try to survive in the wild with the help of a cunning fox. The lab director tries to keep their escape quiet, but as an increasing number of sheep are found killed, word leaks out, together with rumors that the dogs might be plague carriers. From Martin Rosen, director of Watership Down, uh, I think that was brought uh, by Criterion Collection. Plague Dogs features the voices of John Hurt, Christopher Benjamin, and Nigel Hawthorne. So I didn't really know anything about this movie, to be honest. I had no idea. For all I knew, I thought maybe it was a killer dog film. <laughs> But clearly, it's an animated film based on the novel. Um, but that's cool. Shout Select doing some kind of unique things. Um, bringing some unique features to physical home media. So that's cool. Number 41 in the line. Trying to open this up. Take a quick peek at the inside. If anybody's seen Plague Dogs, let me know your thoughts. Uh, and this is that list I was telling you guys about. The double-sided pamphlet that shows you uh, all of the Shout Select releases to date and it looks like there are a total of 58 so far murder by death being the last one which i did pick up semi recently so cool that's plague dogs and last but not least we have a new one from redemption i love this line uh gene roland love gene roland grapes of death one of my favorites uh the iron rose another amazing movie um and this is one i've never seen before dracula's fiance uh, it looks strangely erotic and gothic. Um, La Finance de Dracula. <laughs> uh, 1989. We have uh, Euro horror pioneer Gene Rowland, who also did Requiem for a Vampire, approached this sun the sunset of his career. He distilled the dreamlike images and themes of his work into films that were deeply personal and unapologetically cryptic. Dracula's Fiance stars Jacques Regis, as a vampire hunter whose pursuit of the descendants of Count Dracula leads him to a convent where supernatural beings of a parallel world are unleashed, including the bloodthirsty ogress, a wolf woman, and a young woman who's being prepared as Dracula's bride. Also included in is Lost in New York, perhaps the most dreamlike of Roland's sister films, and a modern-day Alice, modern Alice in Wonderland in which two siblings explore the wastelands of Manhattan. Cool, so you actually get two films for the price of one in this. Um, Dracula's Fiance from 79, did I say? Or, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm confused. Jeez. It says 2002. Could this have been directed in 2002? Lost in New York's from 1989. And, uh, maybe... I didn't know Gene Rowland was doing films in, up in the 2000s, so that's weird. Correct me, or let me know, you guys. Is this feature film on this release, Dracula's Fiance, really from 2002? Um, trying to open it up. So if it is, then it's a more modern. Let's see if it says it on here. Dracula's Fiance, 2000. Yeah, wow. So it's a... It's a well, I guess 2000 was almost 20 years ago now, but still. I thought it was from the 70s. Anyways, cool. So, yeah, uh, two films for the price of one on this guy. Audio commentary, special features, um, and the Phantasmagoro Cinema, Gene Rowland. Oh, I'm sorry, he's the, never mind. Audio commentary of the film and Gene Rowland's 1989 film, Lost in New York. So those are the features. Cool. So that's it, guys. Small little haul today, but I just wanted to get it out and done and uh, share it with you guys. So have a great night. I'll see you soon with a new one. Peace.